Here we are in the Senate today and we're trying to prevent the Senate from passing a bill that was passed on the House side that conflates anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism. So we wanted to hear from two Jewish members of our group who've been going around Congress with us in the last couple of months why this bill is so dangerous. My name's Liz, I'm from Pennsylvania, I am Jewish, and I am uh, proudly anti-Zionist because I do not stand with a nationalism that is committed to genociding the Palestinian people. So I am uh, originally from Israel, I am a son of a Holocaust survivor. My grandparents and my uncles, they all were murdered in the Holocaust and I'm very sensitive to anything that looks like a genocide and that's obviously is a genocide. The conflation of uh, anti-genocide, anti-Israel, anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism is a big lie. They use the Jews to justify the war crimes and the crimes against humanity that Israel is committing. Today, by the way, is uh, Yom HaShoah, the Day of Remembrance for the Jewish Holocaust. And uh, most of us American Jews grew up learning never again, no genocide against any people ever again. So it's incredibly horrifying to me that on this very somber Day of Remembrance, that the Zionist State of Israel, in the name of the Jewish people, is committing a genocide. This law by itself is anti-Semitic. It diffuses, it dilutes anti-Semitism. Suddenly, if everybody is anti-Semite, then there is no anti-Semitism. And in fact, there is always. But we should address the real anti-Semitism, if at all, versus the fake. This is a fake anti-Semitism, and we need to fight it. This is Holocaust Day in Israel and everywhere. So especially this day, we should not make Holocaust now in Rafa. And that's what Israel is doing, is, is committing Holocaust already. And I say to that, never again. Please, let's stop the genocide right now. So today we're going to work on trying to stop this anti-Semitism bill. Um, but in addition, we are working to get these members of Congress to stop supporting genocide.